Hey guys, Davidson here. So this is more of a serious review video. There was a video on Vimeo called AR Wear. And what AR stands for is anti-rape. And there is a clothing company that has come up with the idea for anti-rape undergarments. So far it seems to be limited to shorts and uh, jogging pants but I think they're hoping to extend the line via their Indiegogo campaign at igg.me slash at slash ar dash where. So if you want to check them out there and I will include a link to their Vimeo video in the video description. The only real problem I had with the video was the fact that the model was sometimes posing provocatively in the shorts or at least she was shot in a way that was sexy. So it kind of confused the messaging of the product, in my opinion. I think the video could have been more neutral and more professional. So to analyze this, um, a lot of people over on Reddit are saying, well, <laughs> challenge accepted, you know, typical, insensitive, disgusting, disrespectful comments or oh, wouldn't stop mouth rape, could rape her in her face. Yeah, I guess you could. Um, don't. Uh, other people are saying, well, we could just cut them off or if a man truly wants to rape a woman, he will. And to that last point, I agree that is true but these shorts are meant to serve as a deterrent from rape because there are certain circumstances under which a woman is more easily raped than others, such as when she is unconscious due to being overly intoxicated or if someone is trying to rape a woman quickly and then get away quickly, this type of interference may stop a rape that may otherwise have occurred. But um, the point still remains that largely rape is something that is very hard to protect yourself entirely from. It is largely committed by sociopathic individuals. Uh, they did a study, which I will have to find somewhere, that says that the incidence of stranger rape, so rape from somebody that you don't actually know because the majority of rape cases are from someone that you somewhat know, um, the incidence of it is comparable to the incidence of random homicide. So in a way it indicates that the type of people that would commit a random homicide are sort of the same types of people that would commit a random rape and they're equal on the level of violence towards another person. Would I wear these? I probably would not. On a regular basis choose to wear something like this. I don't think I'm going to be raped at any given moment. However, I can think of instances where I might choose to wear them if I felt especially vulnerable or I was going in into a very um, conflict-ridden situation. Why not? Why not make it just slightly more difficult? This is something that maybe could help women or at least it's going to make more people talk about rape. Um, and rape prevention, which is always a good thing. Good evening.